So guys, that's the car just idling. This is going to be a loud pull. What's up guys, my name is Andrew. And I'm Justin. And today is a good day guys. We are going to get the R32. We're gonna get a dyno today. And we have a special guest. We have a friend coming with a big turbo R32. So guys, this should be an awesome episode. If you guys like Volkswagen content, and especially R32 content, go ahead, like the video, subscribe down below. Me and Justin, we'd really appreciate it. This video has been a long time in the making and Basically, this is kind of the introduction, guys, for my 2021 winter build. This R32, next time you see it, is going to be basically getting ripped apart. Uh, we're going to be building a bunch of stuff on this car for this winter build. So we will have updates for you guys on that in an upcoming video. So I wanted to go ahead and give you guys the intro. Me and Justin, we're going to get on the road. We are going to start actually getting um, up to the place where we're going to get the car dynoed and uh, go from there. Fun fact, though, last night, of course, I was driving the R32 over to Justin's shop to uh, just, you know, work on the Opal, have some fun with the guys, and I was hearing a noise coming from around where the differential front diff is. So, of course, I was like, well, that is a great thing to be happening right before dyno. So, we went ahead and we explored what was going on with it. So, guys, let's roll that tape from last night and let's show you guys what we figured out. So, guys, as we mentioned, the R32, we have some issues with this car. Uh, hopefully these are gonna be something really easy to fix. Um, basically we were driving, or I was driving the car tonight, just like bringing it over to the shop, having some fun. Uh, I'm gonna work with Justin on the Opal and Chris on his GTI. And I was hearing a whining noise coming from the front of the R32. And to be honest, it sounded kind of like it was coming from the front differential. So basically once I got here, jacked the car up, we took off the wheel, made sure nothing was rubbing on the inside, made sure just everything was tightened correctly. And everything was basically pretty good. So the next thing, we went for another drive. Chris was listening to it. Chris, what do you think it was? Uh, it was tough to say, cause it definitely, it sounded like a wheel bearing, but at the same time, you just did the wheel bearings and it was a lot more fainter than a wheel bearing noise. And it was terribly intermittent. And um, I came to the conclusion that maybe the, the transfer case, bevel box, was low on fluid maybe because that's exactly where it sounded like it was coming from but who knows fingers crossed this works so what we decided that we were going to do is we went out to uh autozone and grabbed some um fluid that is the proper fluid for the bevel box for the r32 so we're going to drain the system and just flush that fluid out see if maybe that is the issue like i said this car has 140,000 miles on it, and I have no idea the last time this fluid was changed. So that could literally just be the issue, and it could be super simple. So let's go ahead, let's drain this fluid on it. Um, there's no videos out even on how to drain it, so we figured we might as well start off this uh, Dino Day video draining the fluid. So let's go ahead and start draining the fluid. So guys, we are under the car now. As you can see right up here, this is the drain plug for the bevel box. We are gonna be opening this up and that is how the fluid should be drained out of uh, the bubble box. You can see it's basically right over here. To also just be better reference, over here, this is the transmission. Then right here, this is the oil pan uh, for the R32. You guys know how to do oil changes. Right here is the oil drain plug right there. So this is where the uh, bevel box are gonna be draining from. This is connected, uh, the bevel box is connected over through the transmission. So when this needs to be refilled, we are going to refill this uh, through the transmission uh, fill point, which I will show you guys where that is right now. So guys, for filling now the uh, bevel box, right here is the transmission drain plug. It's, I know it's really hard to see and film under here, but that is what you're gonna remove and you're gonna fill through this right here. I'll show you guys what I actually bought for uh, the oil that we are going to refill now the bevel box with. So for the R32, what you need to get is you need to get uh, 75W90. That is what they recommend from Volkswagen. I just went ahead, got some Royal Purple. This is probably the better uh, fluid that they have at uh, AutoZone. And then I just got a pump basically that we could use here for uh, 
pumping the oil back in. So basically this just goes right on top right here and we're able to pressurize it, pump it back in through that inlet part on the transmission. So let's go ahead, let's drain that fluid out and let's get this going. So we ran the car for about, I don't know, five minutes or say. We went through all the gears, everything like that, just to make sure everything was smooth. Uh, now we're gonna go underneath, top off the fluid, and we should be good to go. And let's hope that this thing does not make any more noises. Six hours later. Okay guys, so while we were waiting for Dan to show up, he's the guy with the big turbo R32. I'll put his Instagram up here so you guys can actually see his page out and just look at his car and stuff like that. We are actually going to be going up to ACI uh, Dynamics up in Connecticut. That is the shop that uh, invited me to come up there. Many of you guys may know uh, Mr. Turbo Hands from uh, Instagram, he is the guy who reached out to me saying that we could use his dyno. So he's a very well-known guy in the Volkswagen community, knows everything you can know about the Mark IV R32, the Mark V R32, um, and the Golf Rs. He's a very knowledgeable person. So I'm really happy that we had this opportunity to go up to his shop um, and just talk with him, get to show him the R32 and see what he thinks about it. So um, the dyno that we will be using is an all-wheel drive dyno. So we are not doing the front wheels um, and dif disconnecting the rear Haldex differential. Instead, this will be an all-wheel drive dyno. I'm interested to see what this car will make because it is completely stock. There has been no modifications done to this motor uh, in any performance aspect. So I'm thinking around probably, I don't know, 200 max to like maybe 195 wheel horsepower. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, what power you guys think this car should be making. There you go guys, Dan is here. Okay guys, we have the car strapped down on the dyno. Let's see what the car actually puts down. Justin, what do you think? Uh, I don't really know what to think yet. This is my first time seeing this stuff, so. Yeah? What do you guys think? What do you think the R is gonna make? I hope for 200. 180. I, I, yeah, probably about that. <laughs> so we'll have to see guys. We'll see actually what this puts down and uh, hopefully uh, everything goes good. Here we go boys. Let's see how this goes. Two seventeen wheel horsepower and two eighteen wheel torque. That is awesome. There we go, guys. That is solid. And we're nice. gonna label this in capital letters: S T O C K. Yes, one hundred percent stock. Oh, that's awesome. That's a lot more than I was thinking it would get. Two seventeen. So, guys, dyno's done. Nick, what do you think? He wanted two hundred. He got two seventeen. So, so he's happy. I'm happy because he's happy. Exactly. Go home and sell some parts and yeah, see what happens. Yeah. So we will definitely be back for another dyno tune uh, or dyno roll, I should say. The idea is now we have a baseline. We want to see how much performance we can make off of this once we install everything. We are going to have the next video is going to be all about all the parts that we have bought for this R32 and installing everything basically to see how much we're gonna end up making. So all bolt on tunes. All bolt on tunes, everything you can imagine basically, minus force induction. We're not going force induction yet. Yet, yet, yet. exactly, yet. yet. So that's kind of where we're at. We have a, now a turbo R that we are gonna see how that goes. 
That should be fun. Yeah, let's see how that one goes. We're going to definitely get more than 217 on that one. So <laughs> let's hope. <laughs> let's see how that goes. Yeah. All right. What do you think he's gonna make, Nick? 22 pounds. 22 yeah. pounds. 520. Man, hoping. Well, let's see how it goes. Before guys, we get the car on the dyno and going, Dan's gonna go ahead and explain to you guys what his build is for the R32, kind of what he has done to it, and what is he ex is really expecting to make uh, power-wise for this car. So Dan, what do you got? All right, so start with the low, uh, the bottom of the block and it's got JE pistons, IE rods, uh, top end it's got super tech valves and springs and retainers, just heavy duty, nothing overboard or anything. Uh, it's bored out to 84 millimeters, it's running a CTS turbo kit with a Garrett GTW 3684R, uh, United Motorsports tune, Walboro 255 inline pump, 870cc injectors, praying for 500 plus. We shall see. Runs about 22, 23 pounds of boost. It'll be fun. Yeah, guys, so that's basically what Dan has done to this car. Should definitely be an awesome experience see how this thing actually uh, runs. So uh, let's uh, see how this thing actually goes on the dyno. So, guys, that's the car just idling. This is going to be a loud pull. <laughs> right now turbo tapering down 498 500 wheel horsepower so there you go guys 500 wheel horsepower it's on a fucking 452 mark 4 r32 oh man So guys, we finished up the dyno. We are here with Nick at ACI Dynamics with an X, right? Yeah. There you go. We are gonna get a quick little walk around the shop so you guys can see kind of what they do here um, and what the shop's really about. This place is really cool. If you guys are located in uh, Connecticut, Massachusetts, uh, even New York, definitely highly recommend coming here. Even if you're from Canada, just drive down. Yeah, exactly. Nick, he, you, you know your shit, man. Yeah. Yeah, so like, if you need anything done with Euros, cars in general, great place to come. So let's go ahead, let's go walk around the so shop. This is Obviously, when we walk, Andrew walked through the door, this is, you walk through the door right here, this is our waiting room. Um, got a cool little Toy Story car, Honda S2000, mic wrapped up to look like Toy Story. But I'm gonna bring you guys onto this side of the shop. So on this side of the shop, this is where, this is Mike's side of the shop. So basically, uh, clear bra from Expel, Ceramic Pro, um, vinyl wrapping, changing the color of your car, um, detailing, window tints. This is this is the, the fun side of the shop. So basically this truck, um, a normal white truck, he didn't really want to paint it. It's in beautiful, sh the body's in beautiful shape. So Mike's wrapping it um, gloss white right now with gold flake in it. Um, this car right here, um, M8, gloss white. He's wrapping it satin white. This Corvette silver, matte red, chrome blue McLaren. Chrissy, you know Chrissy, he's uh, his wide body GTR, McFlaren instead of McLaren, I you know. Like it. I like it. Matte black, the new Corvette, that's the Expel um, that I was talking about, paint protection film. Nice. And this actually, this GTR that I built the motor on four years ago, this GTR, the whole entire car, nothing, absolutely nothing, everything's going carbon fiber. Literally, nice. hood, fenders, the roof got cut off, uh, the rear bumpers here has to be put on. Uh, door jams, rear balance, every, everything, not a wrap. Every, the whole entire car is uh, carbon fiber. 
Um, so this is an Alpha 12 build. Uh, this is probably going to make somewhere around 1100 wheel. Uh, it's been a project for us for a while now, but That's this beautiful. car is going to be gnarly. Wow. That's cool. no, that so is... You guys, so this is the fun side of the shop. This is where everything gets... You know, detailed. Oh, I forgot we got a Supra over there, right hand, right hand drive oh, Supra we see that. that we got. We we need to see a Supra. All right, right Let, hand drive. Let's see, right hand drive Supra. That is, uh, oh man. This is Bryce's car, the owner's car. His little toy. Well, that's a beautiful goddamn toy. Right hand drive. Ooh. So I got a Supra. Oh my gosh. Full ETS build. Um, this car, this car is gonna boogie too. We're trying to make probably like eight eight fifty wheel on this guy. Motor's being built right now from Brian Center Auto Machine Shop. Amazing guy. Wow. And then, so like I said, this is the fun side. This is this, we call this the candy room because this change all the colors. It's like Skittles in here, you know. <laughs> Justin, is this what you drove? To the Ma McLaren. Uh, Seventy. Uh, this is seven twenty. Yes. Oh, seven twenty. A little different. Uh, I'll show you guys the other side of the shop. Awesome. Other side of the shop, boys. I'll be back. This is the mechanic side of the shop. So that was Skittles. That was the candy room. That's the fun room. This is where, this is where magic happens. I can tell. This Ferrari FF, simple. This is just oil change, spark plugs, 12 spark plugs. Unfortunately, I had to do. Um, it got a custom tune here on, on our Adano in-house. Um, FI exhaust. So this Ferrari got the works. And we got this GTR is getting built over here. <laughs> that uh, is all apart right now. A B7 A4 FSI motor, MQB motor out of a Golf R, Subaru motors being built. Where's the lovely Subaru motor? I mean, I love Volkswagen and Audis, but I'm gonna tell you guys, if you guys need a Subaru motor built, this is a full. Oh wow. IEG AMS build. Look at that, Big boys. precision turbo. Wow. So, is... Martin, this is Mar Martin's toolbox, Martin's area. Martin's the Subaru guy. Okay. I'm the Volkswagen Audi guy. Martin handles all the Subarus. Then we got Justin over there. He handles any kind of BMW that you need, any kind of work done on your BMW. Justin's the guy to go to. Um, he's actually putting an M4 on the dyno that he just did now with uh, the crank hub fix. M4 is a big thing for the crank yep. hub slipping. So um, he made last night full bolt-on M4. He made last night 505 wheel. And now Justin's going to go on the dyno and do some E. He's going to do oh, some wow. E50. That'll so see what Justin makes. But yeah, anything, I mean, Volkswagen, Audi, BMW, McLaren, as you saw, right-hand drive Supras. So there you guys go. That is just kind of a walk around the shop. This is an awesome place. I wish this place was closer to my house because I would be here all the damn time. So just wanted to give you guys kind of a little overview of the shop, what they do here. And we're gonna go walk around and just uh, talk to Nick a little bit more and just uh, see how the shop is. Okay guys, so me and Justin are now back from the shop. Honestly, Justin, what do you think about the shop? Uh, the shop was absolutely crazy. It actually blew what I thought we were going to out of the water. I had no clue who they were or what was going on. And I got there, it was, it was awesome. Yeah guys, so if you guys don't know ACI Dynamics with an X, uh, they're located in Connecticut. Awesome shop, great place to go if you guys have really any cars, I would say. like Anything. They know their stuff there. We were talking to them a little bit afterwards and they work on everything from BMWs to Mercedes to Ferraris to yeah. GTRs, they, everything. They literally have everything there at their shop, guys. Uh, Nick, once again, thank you for allowing us to come out. Um, the facility is amazing. You're an awesome dude. Really appreciate you having us just out there to put our cars on the dynos and see what they would do. Uh, also, shout out to Dan. You hit your goal, man. You got that 500 all-wheel horsepower on a Mustang dyno, which for all of you who don't know, Mustang dynos usually register less uh, power than what they, you, you would expect. So that he hit his mark. And it was crazy. Yeah, that, that car is ridiculous. It was awesome. Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, meet back up with Dan and do a, a different kind of video with him someday soon. So if you guys want that, go down below, hit that like button. Comment, show us that you guys want to see videos like that because me and Justin are down to make videos like that. And we just need to know that you guys want to see content like that. And um, we're always in. Yeah, see how it goes. So guys, I think we're going to end the episode today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the R32. Until next time, guys, my name is Andrew. And I'm Justin. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys. Peace out.